But, yes. Um, you're kidding yourself, you can outsmart him. Happy birthday, Tom, by the way. Um, weird flash randomly froze on me. Tyrion's been playing this game his whole life, he's too smart, yeah. Um, hey, Astral S. Um, <laughs> see, there is no way you can outsmart Tyrion, he's too clever. Yeah, pretty much. Lady Olenna can. Tyrion is very neutral. Lady Olenna and Tyrion scenes are fantastically funny. Haha, <laughs> Shaga. A little subtle in the helping side of times, but that's it. Um, playing the Game of Thrones was easy when you were up against idiots like Andros. Lucan is a jerk. He's joking. I mean, the guard heard everything, so you can't lie, right? Yeah. Um, no boobs. Not the real Game of Thrones game. Roderick is mad game. He ain't crippled where it counts. Wow, Jovian. Wow. Kiyachira. Tyrion is one of the, one of the, one of the few who is as honest as is possible in the game. That's true. Honest as possible. Score! Yay, I made it to see some of this, Liam. Bowchikawao, how did Roderick survive all those injuries? I don't know, but I'm glad he did. I am glad he did. Poor Arthur. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still feeling the effects of Arthur's. Ugh, Roderick scars. Honest isn't accurate for Tyranny either. Well, we got to see, yeah, we got to see some circles without blood on them. Dear Lord, he's doomed. It's the beard. Beards can survive anything. Aw, uh, Tally is cute when she's blushing. <laughs> it's a few weeks later. Sexy party time from Onganku Royale. Sorry, your brother's dead. Let's make love. Aww. <sighs> and that's why you always knock. Haha, <laughs> Talia's blushing. It's time to talk about the birds and the bees, Talia. Talk about how many times. Uh, let's see. Um, the blush, wow. When you get laid, you die. Aww. Talia was looking at Elena in a pretty interesting way. Okay. Where are her clothes? We'll talk about that when you're older. Can pay to a kiss. I'm just playing. That's my best blanket. It took her... It, it is, is it okay for her to walk out like that? Well, I mean... Maybe she's just as has a cold. That's exactly what happened. Oh, I missed the start of the stream. How did he take cash for being killed? Well, mm, not so well. You'll see it. You'll see it. Evil sexy maester time. The sexy evil maester returns. She was cold. Needed some warmth. Arthur, I mean, traitor. Tom West, you mean Arthur? Yeah, I do. Unfortunately, no. Okay, don't give Harkin a heart attack. Duncan, telltale, stop it. How did she, how did he take Arthur being killed? Please, isn't it up? It's, I, it, you'll see it. I, I didn't take it very well. It was, it was not, did not want, did not want. Um, she has seen bad things. They affected her in wrong ways after the commercial week. Ah, uh, just spit it out already, girl. Talia's face reminds me a bit of Elizabeth in Bioshock and Cement. Oh, I can see that. I promised her, but wasn't sure if I was going to do it. Yeah, I can't make a promise to my sister without... I wasn't going to promise something, because if I get went back on it, that'd be worse. I, I have to... T I can't promise something... Uh, you know, I don't like making promises that I, that I can't keep, necessarily. Like, if I'm going to promise something for you, then you know it's legit. If I tell you that I can't promise something, then you know it's legit, because I can't promise it. There's a reason I can't promise it. You know, I want my promises to be genuine. Because, um, you know, I don't want to have to back out on a promise. And if I feel like there might be a chance of me backing out, I'm not going to make the promise. As simple as that. And hopefully people respect that. Because then they know when I do make a promise, they know it's legit. I promised her, but wasn't sure if I was going to do it. Maester, I'm not the sexy evil maester. I'm the evil sexy maester's twin brother. Evil sexy maester. Didn't someone think it was the mom for protection or something? I had a, I actually had some suspicions about about the mom, but I was like, mm, she would not have let Ethan die or her children. That's just, I just didn't see that happening. Wouldn't the guard that was watching you and Tyrion just tell Cersei what happened? I mean, that's what I thought, which is why I was trying not to outward. I didn't want to just blatantly say, "Hey, Tyrion, so Cersei sent me." I didn't want to blatantly do that either. Um, wouldn't. So I was trying to do it in the middle. No comment. The maester. From what Telsey said, it must be the maester. I'm going to guess Roderick. Ethan's disembodied ghost. The evil maester. I've forgotten the names again. Duncan. Mother. Well, let me put it this way. It was the person I guessed it was, which I'm, I don't, I don't want to know that. It was Ethan all along. Maester. I'm thinking Duncan because he'd be the biggest shock, and Tal Talia said they were like family. 
Ethan, I it's Ethan didn't really die. I already played, but I'll tell you when to play blindly. My top hint was being led by Lady Forrester. I think this one was the right hand man, the Sentinel or other. Well, who do we have to choose from? But that that or was Garrett all along? I don't think it was Garrett. I don't think it was Garrett. Duncan, my best guess. It was Lord Forrester. He faked his death. <gasps> dun dun dun. I hope Roderick goes to find the traitor, and it's just a mirror. The twist is Roderick is schizophrenic. <gasps> Oh, that would be an amazing twist. Amazing twist. Dustin, Duncan, the, so basically Talia wanted me to commit suicide is what you're saying. I hope Roderick goes to find the traitor and it's just, oh. Duncan, the evil sexy maester, Soy Royland, or even the mother, place your bets. But she said he. And I don't know if she would necessarily say kill our mother, even if she, I don't think she would tell Roderick to kill their mother. Um, like, uh, Tali definitely uses male pronouns, so mom is ruled out. Oh, I forgot the mother. Plot twist, it's the father, even though she was my earlier suspicion. It's a guy, Tali had said him. He also, she also said family. Iron Bull romance moment. So the maester, Sir Royland or Sir or Duncan, and Duncan has been a little suspicious, might not, might, might not be bad. I'm going to be all over this when you put it on YouTube. Isn't it suspicious that the Maester hasn't been seen all episode, or is he still recovering from Griff beating him? Yeah, that's what that's what I'm thinking too. That he has we haven't seen much of him, so so much do we know? How much do we know of Royland and the Maester? Well, that would be funny if everyone walked in like the Iron Bull romance. There is a German saying: "Versprochen ist versprochen und wird nicht gebrochen." Promised is promised and will never be broken. Talia would get eye, can chance, eye cancer. Tell, Telltale Games taught me to never make a promise. Yeah, yeah, I never make a promise. I would just stand frozen shocked at the same time, just like Josephine. Like you legit promised to tell nobody about the North Grove. Well, that was a mis that was a that was a me forgetting. That wasn't an on purpose thing. I wouldn't. Yeah, that was me just completely forgetting. Completely left my mind. I know who it is, but I won't tell. It can't be Garrett, but he has way, been away for too long and, who, who would, who would, and wouldn't know the details. It was Udina. <laughs> it was Vaughn. No. Plot twist. It's Ryan. <gasps> that would be... That would not make sense, but it would be twisty. The maester did get his hand crushed. Not much he can do while it's healing. That's not well. Plot twist. It's Hark. It was me all along. You found me. I knew it. He built the time machine and went back. The Maesters are always like family in Game of Thrones. Hark crit crits the German language for 2813126 6 damage. It's super effective. Was did that mean I totally botched? That means I totally botched it. I'm so sorry. Plot twist. Doc went back in time and altered the timeline by being a traitor. Plot twist. It's hard. Okay. So many Germans here. We are everywhere. I've yeah. I bet we've got a lot of Germans hanging around on the channel, which is awesome. 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 Um, some of the best looking guys are German. Some of the best looking guys I know are German. Hey, hey, hey. Um, and ladies too. There's some pretty, there are some pretty smoking hot, sexy German ladies as well. Not gonna lie. Winterhurs. I don't, Jazimlix. I, oh gosh, I can't read this. Wurst hat. Pretty sweet, like you spoke German, Hark. I sorry for the botching. Sorry, it's true. The Salarian counselor confirmed it. What? Um, don't make me bust out in Dutch. Whoever said after the break, you totally called it. Um, it's uh, a telefied, telef uh, telefied avatar of George R R himself. Kind of random, but does anyone know if Danny and the and Ramsay interacted in the show before? It'd be interesting to see that. I haven't seen much other than the random clips. Plot twist, it's all of us. It's the last of us. That's because of a tiny lag, although it's live. Angel is actually a few seconds ahead of what we see. Um, wait, what happened to the other Squire boy at the beginning? Did he just disappear? Or the other Squire boy? You mean besides... Are you talking about the coal boy? Because the coal boy is with Mira. And Squire boy, as in... As in... Garrett? Well, I, I'm not sure. Um, plot twist, he was Griff. He always tells the blue, blues of our secret plan. Hey, I forgot about the Cold Boy. Where is he? Cold Boy is not, but Cold Boy is with Mira. I don't think he's anywhere near where the Foresters are. Mm -hmm. I think Tom is just a side character, but I could be wrong. Oh, I know, the sword is the traitor. That's why Ramsay made it stay behind. Um, hi, Elegation Z1. Welcome to the live stream. 
I completely forgot about Tom. Where has he been? It's a short break. We need someone to mod this scene so we can replace the trader's model with whoever we want. Uh, to throw me off. The sandwich from episode 3. Oh, the sandwich. That still hurts to this day. That's poor grilled cheese sandwich. And so much to live for. I don't, um, I'm pretty sure they haven't. They haven't. Ramsey spent his life in the north and Danny's never been to mainland Westeros. What if the traitor is a traitor? Replaces the sandwich in Borderlands with the traitor. Um, I still think it's Duncan or Roland. Roiland. Maybe it was Fiona's hat. Hat came back to life and went revenge. Oh, that's right. The poor hat. I knew I should have eaten you when I had the chance. <laughs> Sandwiches. I already ate earlier, but now I'm gr grilling. Cr I'm craving grilled cheese. Replace him with Vaughn. Give Park another breakdown. No. Oh, that would be the worst thing ever if it turned out to be Vaughn. Oh, uh, the raccoon. Oh, I do what to that raccoon? Yeah, yeah, that's what Mike, that's what Mike said. Replace with Arthur. Break Hark's heart. Uh, what if this plot is multi-layered and Talia is the real traitor? She wrote that note herself and she's setting someone up. Wouldn't put it past her. Imagine if it's Vaughn with the time and space travel machine. That would be interesting. The only person who isn't a traitor is Ramsay, because we know he just we know what Ramsay is about. I can picture it. Roderick goes, clever girl, and then she stabs him in the head. Oh, oh, the traitor. I'm Italian. Hey, on Ongaku, Ongaku Royale. He came back to life to stop Roderick from getting his sister. Um, Hark, I gotta admit, I didn't watch your Mass Effect LP. Would you have liked to romance Garrus if possible? Of course, I would have loved to have romance Garrus. I just haven't had the chance or the opportunity to do it. Totally not into German guys, which is sad because I live in Germany. Aww, that's okay. It's no no problem. Same, sister. I got a different state taste in men than Angel. I take all the men he does not want. Well, there we go. There we go. Video cutout. Um... Your name is says Kiwi, so New Zealand boys are your thing? Oh, that's true. Maybe. We haven't seen Cowboy all episode. Hi, Angel. Hi, Telltale Fan 1. Welcome to the live stream. Lag, lag, lag. I think congratulations on your marriage. You looked awesome. Thank you, Telltale Fan. Thank you. Sandwich versus Arthur. Um, I noticed this a few days ago. Royland's voice actor is the same as Knight Commander Gregor of Dragon Age Origins. I did not know that. It said 67. Wait, wait, we're talking about men. Well, my screen says 77. Wait, 77? 77? What? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of you. Wow. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen the list this long. Wow. Well, thank you guys for taking the time to hang out with me. I'm, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying yourselves. So who do I think the traitor is? See, part of me feels like the the sexy evil maester would be just too obvious, but I feel like he wouldn't be more obvious than... Well, he might be more obvious... I, I, I feel like there's reason for me to make us believe that it was either Sir Royland or Duncan, which is why I don't think it's Sir Royland or Duncan. I, I feel like I don't think it's Sir Royland or Duncan. I think, and the only other person left that I can think of that Talia would say was male and was part of the family. I can only think of, I really can only think of, I can think of the Maester. So as as much as I joke around about the sexy evil Maester and everything, how everything is his fault, I honestly would pin him as the traitor over Royland or Duncan. I. I I don't know. I could be totally wrong, but that's just my prediction, if, if you want to know what it is. 78. Mine's a 79 viewers. I just went... Uh, Claudia Black. I just went into the world on fire. I just want to set the world on fire. Oh, I want to set the world on fire. I just... Okay. Anyway, the traitor is obviously Roderick's Kane. So a sexy evil maester is not evil. He's just the sexy maester we're saved. I've never seen so many viewers before. Um, did you just say Dunkland? He's only obvious to you, Hark, because you told him the family's deepest, darkest secrets. Let's get it done. Go, Hark, reveal the truth. Is 77 is way not enough for your awesome... Oh, well, thank Hacky Shadow. By the way, welcome to the live stream, Hacky Shadow. The suspense is real. All right, let's go, gruff voice. It's it's the butler. Hark's singing voice. Oh, well, thank you, Winter Hurts. Hopefully, the North will help... Grove will help if Garrett ever succeeds. I just want to play Fallout now. Singing with Hark, new series confirmed. Aw. Okay, well, we're going to find out the truth. 
assuming it's not Talia and she was just trying to put the wool over our heads. Clever girl. Clever girl. Who is it? I'm scared of who it is, guys. I'm scared. Come on with the suspense. The suspense. The, gods. the suspense. <sighs> oh. Whoever it is has both of his hands. It seems both of his hands are okay. Wait, is I... it? Oh, my lord. You scared the bloody daylights out of me. Really? Wait, really? Really? You tell me. Really? You don't scare me, Roderick. Really? I've known you since you were a boy. Really? When you still had a spine. Why, Royland? Why did you do it? Your father was the greatest lord I've ever known. Oh my you. gosh! You've brought this house to ruin! Oh! You pushed me to this rock. Wait, wait, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. My guess... Don't tell me if this is true until the end, guys. Don't tell me if this is true yet. My guess... Whoever you made, whoever you did not make your sentinel, that one's the traitor, is my guess. So I feel like if I had chose Royland, just my, just my theory, I feel like if you chose Royland as your sentinel, then the person who's here would be Duncan. That's just my guess. Oh my gosh, everybody's blowing up. All, all the chats are blowing up. Everybody's reacting. Everybody's reacting. Okay, you can't handle the truth, Hark. That moment when you're heating up pizza while, waiting, while watching a live stream. I know, Drew. Stuff's going down. Thank you, Ongaku Royal. Fallout 4 is romance options. Oh, really? We're going to have to look into that, especially if they bring back the same gender romances from... Anyway, off topic, we're talking about the sho shocker of who the, who the traitor is. As soon as I saw both hands, I was like, okay, it's not the maester unless the maester's hand was fake hurt somehow. Um, did a great job on the Donald come. Oh, thank you, Silphwind. Um, oh, sorry, sorry, getting off topic, getting off topic. And Hark's dreams of the sexy maester being evil goes down the drain. <laughs> yes, my dreams of, of maester being being evilly sexy and sexually evil. I was scared to find out who it, who it is. No, doesn't surprise me. Yes, oh, huh, whoa. This is determinant then, that really bothers me. Ah, see, that was my guess too, Jovian. Was someone else for me? Okay, well, somebody just, somebody just... That's what I figured. I figured it was determinant. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank you, um, Red vs. Blue, about Dawn Will Come. Well, it had to be one of the three. I just had to type that. He was jealous. Don't read mine. Don't read mine, I guess, too, but I don't know. That would make sense. You get betrayed by the one... Ah, see, I, it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It, the second, you know, the delay, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, I figured it out. At least now I, I, I figured it out, guys. This is awesome. Which is cool. I think that's cool. I think it's awesome that the, um, that the traitor is determinant. That's, that's pretty awesome. I like that. Pretty, pretty awesome. Smart guess. I wonder if Roiland knows about the North Grove. Oh my gosh, Maester's still evil and sexy. Yeah, that doesn't change. Um, it's okay. You guys are forgiven. It's okay. It's all right. Um, same gender romances in Fallout 4. Awesome. For some reason, I'm not really surprised. Plot twist, a sexy evil maester is disguised as Roiland. <laughs> he was my second guess. Does this mean evil sexy maester isn't evil anymore? No, he's still sexy and evil. He's still evilly sexy and sexily evil. So, <laughs> I guess that's different people can be the traitor. I saw the hair and I was like, Roiland? <laughs> you can romance any human companion with either gender in Fallout 4. Ow! Awesome. But we're getting off topic. We're getting off topic. Um, Duncan would be more shocking. Royland really makes me mad. This part destroyed me. Royland's one of my favorite characters, and I was certain it wasn't him. At least I thought it was. <laughs> I think I think we figured it out, Canaris. It's all right. It's all right. I think 81 viewers. Thank you, guys. I hope I said hi to you. If I didn't say hi to you, I'm sorry. Because um, it doesn't show up. Your names don't pop up on the screen. So 
if you ever do like show up for the first time, say hi, and and hopefully I'll be able to see you so I can say hi back. But anyway, um, you brought it upon yourself. I trusted you, Ryland, with my life. <laughs> You'll trust anyone who makes the right noises. You know why? Because you're weak. Oh my you're gosh. You're weak, just like Ethan was. Making Duncan his century. Oh, Ethan was a boy. What? Ethan was a fool. And you've been making fool choices too since the day you crawled off that corpse cart. Kissing Lud's ring when you knew we had to show strength. Bungling your betrothal to Elena. Doesn't matter how either of you feel. Lord Glenmore will never let you marry her now. So you're just going to make it worse. Letting Griff force you to the ground without a shred of dignity. Hell, you even managed to get Arthur killed. Hey, I did Boyland. What the heck? I... You oh, had to bring that up. Opportunity to save this family. But you've squandered you them all. You just had to bring that up. Your now you hit a nerve. Be ashamed. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. You betrayed us all, Roiland. My father included. I've held true to what I believed. Which is more <sighs> than I can say for you. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to all. I swore to your father. I'd swear to Asher if he were here. But you're a cripple who can barely hold a sword. Wow, really? Asher knows how to act. Asher would, do his limp Asher would kill you. Asher would cut your traitor heart out. Oh, I don't doubt it. He has more balls than you ever will. Roderick, it's Griff. He's gone. Somebody set him free. Oh, guess who it was. Was this your doing? They were going to ambush you at the trade. I just saved your life. But Ryan... Ryan... How could you? This was his doing! Actually, it was my doing. Sorry. Sorry, Forrester. Sorry. I can never just do anything right with you guys. Kill me. And Asha dies too. <gasps> Please, Roderick. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? I know Lud's plans. Spare my life. And I'll tell you everything. Perhaps we should what? get him out. He's now? He's only saying that to save himself. You must decide, my lord. You must be loving this, Doctor. I trust that Asher can Believe take care me, of himself. I'm not. I trust Asher, not Royland. I trust that Asher can take care of himself. He, he completely betrayed our, our family. He screwed us over. I have a hard time with the death sentence, but I don't think my Roderick has a problem with the death sentence and the circumstances. I would, this would be really tough for me, especially if I felt like there was a chance that my brother would be killed. But, but I'm thinking in character for Roderick, Roderick would kill the traitor. Because that was just, that's just, he would. That's what he would do in character. And I think that, I think Asher, Asher can take care of himself. I mean, I mean, look what he, look how he handled everything so far. I can trust, I have more trust in Asher's, in Asher and his abilities than I do with Royland at this point. And I think Roderick thinks the same thing too. Um, all right, what are people saying? Saying, it's true, blah, 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 blah. this part destroyed me, Royland's one of the, it's true, Hark. Um, it, the traitor does depend on your choices, Sentol, which is cool because your choices do matter. Surprise, surprise! Your theory right anyway. I really thought it was Maester. I guess I owed him an apology. <laughs> um, it's not really fair be because it was Ethan who chose the Sentinel, so it wasn't... It isn't Roderick's fault. Oh, so because Roderick couldn't save them, he decided to kill them all. Yeah, the logic there is... Yeah. Epic fight is coming. But does... I wonder how much his dialogue would change if he didn't do any of those things he disagreed with. He probably would still blame me. I think it doesn't matter. And same thing for Duncan, if if it was Duncan. I say Roderick is more of a sword who can barely cripple a hold. Oh, too, wow. Wow, Tom. Wow, Royland, you gave have, you have to bring Arthur up. Hark disapproved. <laughs> yeah, that's the other reason why he's taking... That's another reason why Royland's getting it. Because, because he had to bring up Arthur. You know, you can mention how much I completely fumbled things with Elena. You know, you mentioned about how Griff, like, shoved me down under the heel of his foot. But the moment you brought up the really hot redhead with the awesome hair, 
That's just the last straw for me. I'm sorry. That is the last straw. <laughs> oh, I feel like Lady Forrester was a little snap. I wouldn't blame her. What interests me in the scene shows that Royland really wants Asher as Lord. That is interesting, actually. And he blamed you for Arthur's death. And uh, in this world, letting traitors live will bite you in the behind. Yeah, yeah. Um, because you totally can't trick him into thinking you will spare him to hear the plans and then kill him. Yeah, that's true. Roderick is having one of his internal monologues. Nobody move! It's a Forrester thing. Sorry, it's a Forrester thing. Next episode's Harry on the Ark's Game of Thrones. Loyalty is the most valuable commodity in Game of Thrones. There's only one way to prove him wrong at this point. Roderick, you're gonna blink. <laughs> Shepherd syndrome is contagious. <laughs> Yeah, it's a generic defect in the Forrester family. They just space out when they must make great decisions. Kill everyone! You are the Game of Thrones. Roderick, are, are you okay? Are you are you gonna, you know, execute this man or not? Loving the staring contest between Roderick and Royal and... I wish there was a staring contest between Roderick and Arthur. Mm, that still hurts. Hmm... Uh, I'm not sure if I made the, ch the made choices in this game because of logic or because I keep trying to hold on to my humanity. Plays the countdown music. You <laughs> blink. You blink. Yeah, yeah. This is what my Roderick would do. <laughs> Sorry I had to see that. You did it. Yeah. It was the right thing. I think Roderick what feels, said, feels it too. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. He's fine. Asher's good. Oh. What do we do? Asher seems to be the only person that I'm doing right with. Bring Asher home. Prepare too. the horses. We're gonna defend my brother. Whoa, he just threw his crutch on the fire. Oh, it is on. It is so on. Fight for the forest and fight for the good! Hey ho, no for love! Well, fuck for the riches and the iron horse! Fight for the forest! You smell that? We're almost there, let's get Let's have a look. Now what? Come on, break it up! Save your lovemaking for below deck. Yeah, they listen to you. that's what Blood Song is for. Barely. But what happens if your Lord Brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Iron Wrath? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. A Lord sounds an awful lot like a master. Doesn't matter if Roderick's Lord of our house. These are my soldiers to lead. Huh? You may want to start by telling them your brother's not to be harmed. Yeah. You haven't had a chance to win them over like you have. Right. Huh. Point taken. <laughs> oh, I love it when Asher smiles like that. Oh, did I mention that before? Maybe once or twice? Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or, could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. Oh, this couldn't be easy, could it? No, it never is, Asher. Never is. We haven't seen Garrett in a while. What's going on with Garrett? It's okay. As so, this is Westeros. The longer, the longer I don't see Garrett, the safer he is, because if he doesn't have a scene, he can't die. So maybe I don't want to see Garrett right now, right at this moment. Too many people in this episode that I really liked end up dying, including Royland. I wish he didn't do that. Ugly and small. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Oh. We're home. So we didn't have to go. Okay. Oh, we're not home. We're not home. I brought you an army, brother. Hope you're ready for a fight. 
Lord's got something planned. It's cool to see these two no, together. Oh, yeah. Finally, in one place. It's really cool. I want my brother Ryan back. For weeks. Could use a good fight. Yeah, this is the dock. This is the dock, not Iron. What? Wait, what? Oh. Oh. Asher and Roderick? Get that gate open! Ooh, Asher and Roderick's. Time to. Oh. You. Great. It's been a while since I killed anyone. Oh, else. gosh. He's toast. He is so toast. Now that Asher's here, oh my gosh, he is wrong, wrong answer. Oh, did you just try to get the beast? Wrong, wrong choice. The beast will remember that. Twice over. Oh, the beast will remember that. Asher, you have to get out of there. Looks like it's up to us. Working on it. Oh, Asher? Asher! Raise the gate! They've got us outnumbered! Oh, shit! We have to get out of here! Oh my gosh! They're being massacred! Our, our army is going down! Great. The gate will fall without one of us holding it! One of us has to stay! What? What? No, 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 Telltale, you can't do this to me! No, 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 Telltale, don't do this! No! Come on! No! No, 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 no! No, you can't do this to me! No! We need you! You have to get out of there! Let me save your life! And our hearts! Oh no! Oh, no. Iron, ice, brother. Iron from ice! Oh. I'll hold them off! But my lord, you can't! Asher is your new lord! Oh. Yes, my lord! Roderick! Oh my gosh! Uh. I'm gonna go down fighting. If I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go down fighting. Didn't I already die once? Didn't I already do that? Wait, twice if you count last episode. We already went through this. Come on, Telltale. Really? This is such a tough scene. I can't deal with. I can't deal with. I can't deal with this. What? No! Stop! 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 stop. Whoa, Roderick! Oh, Roderick! No! 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 Uh, I can't deal. Oh my gosh. Oh. <sighs> tell tell you did it again. Why did I not see this coming? Uh, why did I not see this coming? Uh, I need a hug, guys. I need a hug. That was not... That was painful. Having to choose between Asher and Roderick was painful. Painful. Ah. Uh. That's like, that's like, 
that's like choosing between Doug, Luke, and and Omid. That's like that's almost like choosing between Doug, Luke, and Omid, guys. That's hard. As soon as he said one of us has to stay, I was like, you did not no, you did not just say that. You did not no, you did not <laughs> I can't deal with this. <laughs> oh. You start with Arthur and you end with that. Thanks a lot, Telltale. Thanks a lot. And then you throw Roderick, I mean, you throw Royal in there before that. Oh my gosh, we still, oh, the feels, the feels, the feels, the feels. Oh my gosh. Why do we put ourselves to this torture, ladies and gentlemen? Why, why do we, why do we do, why do we do this to ourselves? Why do we put ourselves through this? Why? I don't know. Why? Why? Uh, uh, what if the cell swords had been bought by the White Hills? That would have been really bad. I knew Roderick was going to throw it away and made it uh, throw it away from the beginning. And we still haven't even been able to rescue Ryan. Ryan is still of all we've been trying to get Ryan back for the last three episodes. Oh my gosh, poor kid. Bloodsong likes how Astro smiles as well. I wish there was a hug option. To see that it would have been nice to see those two brothers. As soon as I, as soon as I said, isn't it amazing having those two brothers in the same place at the same time? As soon as I said, Roderick and Asher, how awesome it is to see them together. That sealed their fate. That sealed it. That was my fault. Uh, I bring you an army has ten men. There should be. There really should have been a hug. That there really should have been a hug between them, because that would have made this scene so much. Even even more gut wrenching than it already was. Oh my gosh. Maybe Telltale didn't have enough NPCs. So one hundred men's powers. Uh, why do I have a feeling either Asher or Roderick will die? Oh gosh, it's a trap. I sense a major choice happening. Griff face only a mother could love. It was screaming. Tra it was screaming trap. I know. Did none of the pit fighters have arrows? I guess not. <sighs> here they are, the limping foresters. Game over. Oh boy, here we go. <sighs> no, I had to make a choice then and there. There was no way. I couldn't I wasn't gonna pause the game. I have to because that 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 makes the choice ungenuine. Ingenuine. I had to I had to make a choice split second choice run right there and there. And my gut said that that uh, Roderick he's the older brother. He has to look out. He has he's the he's Roderick's the oldest. He has to look out for her. He has to look out for his siblings. This is really tough for me guys. I the older brother had to sacrifice himself for his younger sibling. That's really what it came down to. And the irony is, Asher doesn't even want to be the head of the house. But that might be a good thing. That might be why it's he's a good candidate to be the head of the house, because he didn't really want to in the first place. I think the pit fighters specialize in melee weapons, brutal melee weapons. This is time to make a choice. <sighs> the delicious pain, my soul, iron from ice. Poor Elena. I know, poor Elena. No, I actually chose. I actually chose Roderick. The pit fighters need Asher to lead. That's true. I know, I know. The pit fighters did need Asher to lead. The Forester's Lord Sword shouldn't have passed on to Asher. Shouldn't that? That's true. And they need even hug. First Arthur, now Roderick. Manslaughter. I chose Roderick too. I also chose Roderick to stay. 
at least he got <laughs> Telltale. That's a little too soon. At least he got that's a little too soon, Telltale fan. This scene is so much better with music. Coward slaughtering a single man like that. The same exact thing happens to Asher. Oh, I wouldn't. Oh. Well, at least he got late. Yeah, Tom, too soon. Too soon. I made Arthur stay thinking long term. Our, 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 Asher, our Asher stay thinking long term is the better choice. I chose to save Roderick during my playthrough. I felt like he had much more to lose if he stayed behind. Ash already accomplished in bringing his men to Westeros, but I really need, just really need to see Roderick bring Griff to his knees. This was a really heartbreaking decision because I really wanted to see these two fight together. Wow. Wow. There was a third option here, by the way, not just Asher or Roderick. Really? There was a third option? So if I don't, if I didn't pick either of them, if I didn't pick either of them, then someone else would have stayed behind. I wonder who that would have been, huh? Well, thank you for not warning me, Sh my Shogun, because I didn't want to be warned. Did not want to be warned, and I don't think anybody else watching wanted to be wanted me to be warned either. Either. Will Elena be preggers? Oh, that's interesting. That's a good point. Those pit fighters wouldn't have followed Roderick. Thank you for the hugs. Thank you for the hugs. Shogun, Winter Hurts, Nachtglanz, Brave Dragon, Kia Chira, German Wiki, Onka Goo Royal, Vince Rules, Telfan. I appreciate it. This choice was so hard because Ash and Roderick were my two favorites. I know. I know. Oh, I know. If you didn't pick anyone, they would have died together fighting. Really? Then that means Talia would have been head of the house? Or Duncan? That would have been... I could not bear if both of them... If I lost both of them, I would have... I would have run out of the room. I would not... Losing one of them is bad enough. But losing both of them... After losing Arthur? <laughs> Elena will probably commit suicide now. Uh, isn't that what I said? Isn't that what I said? Let's enjoy the time while we still have it, Elena. Uh, I should have seen the signs. Group hug, thank you. Telltale fan, thank you, self win. Thank you, Astral SD. My heart's broken, too. I chose Ro to Roderick, and Talia's last words to him was that he was a coward because I didn't make him kill the traitor. What have I done? Oh, that, that hurts. I'm guessing that's not much of a, as good thing as it sounds. Thank you for the hugs, Pi Studios. I don't need a hug, I need blood. Uh, thank you, Hacky Shadow, for the hug. Thank you. Thank you, Nancolette. I'm thank you, Sarge Red versus Blue. I'm hugging the screen, but I prefer hugging you. Oh, I prefer hugging you in real life too. Thank you, German Wiki Girl. I let the banished son Asher become Lord. Yeah, I just finished playing this too. Mr. Hi, Mr. Vlog Watcher. It'd be sad if, like, Ryan was the last Forester left in the last episode. Oh, my gosh. Thanks for saving me and my beard so I can keep on grinning. You're welcome, Asher. I love you and I love, I love you and Roderick. I'm just, that was hard. It'll be okay. Thank you, Telltale fan. Poor Lena. And Telltale breaks us again. I never cried over a character in Game of Thrones, but I was genuine mess over this. I hid in my pillow. I know. Next episode. Next episode is the last episode. They kill everyone and crush Hart's heart. I think it's been crushed. I think my heart's been juiced quite a bit. I think I think that the White Hills have taken my heart and made a smoothie out of it several times. Uh, next, uh, this is Game of Thrones. Everything depends on the last episode now. It's like Survivor. You win or you die. Telltale, crushing the hopes and dreams of every gamer because they could care less. Elena has lost her brother and now her fiancé. Well, I mean, we never actually were getting married. It never ever became official, but... That's a huge choice. That is a huge choice. Bravo to Telltale for letting us make that pivotal of a decision. That definitely matters for the last episode. 
foresters get smaller and smaller. Asher loses his older brother and has to explain it to all, to all to his mother and siblings back at home. After years of exile, Asher finally comes home and his brother dies to save him. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Tally and the mother wasn't there, they're right, weren't there, right? Hopefully they didn't get captured, hopefully. But, but you may play as the uncle in the next season as a replacement for who you left behind. That's true. No, because they know it draws us in, makes us engage in the characters. There's a third option in the Roderick and Asher part if you want to see it. I'll, I'll see it. We asked for choices that matter. Telltale Games responded in kind. I'm curious as to why you picked Roderick to stay. I picked Roderick to stay again because I felt like as the older brother, he would have insisted. I feel like Roderick feels like between the two of them, Asher is probably the better equipped to fight the good fight um, physically. And um, he just couldn't. He couldn't. He just couldn't let his brother just stay behind. Not after he exiled. They exiled him. His his brother has been without his family for how long? Only for him to come back, like so close to reuniting his family and not even getting that much. I don't think Roger could do that. I don't think Roger could let him do that. So yeah, those, there, there are several reasons why I picked Roderick to stay. Asher, Mira, and Garrett. Now who will be the last one left standing? I sacrificed Asher. Roderick is lord, and I will ensure he burns high high point to the ground. Soak soak it with White Hill blood and salt the earth so nothing will grow again. Where was the third option? I was a mess because of this. Yeah, the third option was both of them. Both of them would die fighting. Oh boy. That's basically what I said, but okay. As heartbreaking as it is to say, I think you made the right decision from a cold, logical standpoint. There wasn't anything cold about it. It was very warm. I mean, the, the death was cold, but the reason behind doing what he had, what he wanted to do for his brother was very warm. How can this end? Asher may defeat the White Hills, but Ramsay will still be in charge, and Asher isn't fit for lording. He's got Talia and the sexy evil maester and Duncan and hopefully Garrett. Oh, Garrett, you need to come back now, buddy. Garrett's almost at the North Grove. That third option is just cruel. I recommend watching Asher's death scene just to see Veska's reaction. It's truly heartbreaking. Oh, no. If you guys want to see me react to that... Um, Send me the link. Um, hopefully, a link that that shows that shows. If you want to, if you want me to react, I can react to both. I might as well do that while I have you guys here. Um, I'll react to both um, Asher's death as well as watching the two of them fight to the death. So, if you want to send me a link that directly takes me to those, I'll go ahead and react to them at the end of the credits. I'm still reeling, guys. I'm still recovering from that. Um, okay, Telltale, I get it. So when two playable characters meet, one has to die. True. Well, now I kind of feel better, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you and me both post AG. Wow, I don't know who posted that link, but thank you. Amazing alternate scene. I went to a fit of anger after finishing this episode. I would have chosen like you, Hark. I feel Asher has the fire and strength within him to avenge everyone. I was so broken after that scene, I just turned off my console and went to sleep for 12 hours. I don't know if I would have been able to sleep. I don't know if I can sleep now. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of Bethany's death from Dragon Age 2. Time for me to go make dinner. Thanks for the show, Angel Arts. Thank you for staying, Lua. Enjoy your dinner. Canaris, I picked Roderick because I play Roderick as a tough but fair type. He is the kind of person who would make a sacrifice like that in order to save his family. Asher sort of panicked, but Roderick instantly knew that he would have to do the responsible thing and save his brother. And that was beautiful. It's so horrible that we made the choice from a logical standpoint. Does that make it more awful? Does that make it even more awful? This is the most difficult choice I've ever had to make in a game. It makes sense for Roderick's death. It fit the story perfect. I wonder if Gwyn and Asher's previous romance will play a part in the next episode. How tragically sad would it be if Elena was pregnant next time? Thank you for this hug, Sparta. They would both die. Italia, I guess, but Duncan would probably actually lead. This, it's a game over scene. 
the choice doesn't continue, it just makes you replay. Oh, it's a game over scene. I see, I see. Well, that doesn't, I can still, I can still react to it. Man, it's, um, the choice, the third choice results in a game over. You want to know the worst thing they did this because Asher was plot device to explore the lands outside of Westeros. So Telltale used him and his sexy beard. Thoughts on the episode as a whole? Oh gosh, I'll get to that. Um, well, no, I'm, I'll get to that now. I am... It, it, it definitely was... They delivered. I mean, I think that this was... This was the the middle parts were I thought were I thought okay oh well no they weren't just okay they were they were good the middle parts were good but I think the beginning and the end parts were definitely the ones that impacted me the most especially and and the end included the reveal of the traitor um I I, I mean I it's it was a great episode I, I I really enjoyed the pit fighting scene when you had when you got to like pick the weapons or the order of the weapons and then got to, you know, um, decide how you were going to attack Bloodsong. And it, it, it was really cool. And I like the consequences about the, the about the traitor that you chose and the force the consequences of the last choice. I mean, it was a great episode. It was fantastic. I loved it. Um, I love to hate parts of it, as you can imagine. Um, we got to see gratuitous shirtless scenes in it, but both of them were, like, spoiled because of what happened next. Both of them were totally spoiled because of what happened next. So it's just, it's hard to find, you know, joy in in anything like that because of, because of, because of, uh, goodness gracious, Telltale. Uh, that's going to be a thing now. Once you see, once you see, uh, you know, a character shirtless on... Telltale's Game of Thrones, they're they're going to die soon, it seems like. So maybe I don't want to see Asher shirtless in the next episode as much as I would love to see that. Maybe I don't now that I think about it. Ah, oh, goodness gracious. I miss Roderick. I miss him so much. And Ethan. And Arthur. And ever everybody. I miss everybody. I hate sand endings more than anyone. I know. My Asher being the renegade thug he is is going to burn high, high point to the ground and kill every last white thing, including Gwen. Tell, Telltale should make plushies of all the dead characters so we can hug them whenever we want. Oh, I would love to have a plushie of... Oh, that would be amazing. Now that Asher is back in Westeros, the fourth character is no longer necessary. Fourth character? Do you have a picture of Roderick on your wall? I actually don't. Roderick's probably going to have to be on my wall next time. I'll have to put Roderick on my wall now. Episode 6 with Asher as Lord. There's going to be a lot of blood. He's going to go mental in the White Hills. So what will happen to Mir and Garrett? How will their stories come into play? That's what I'm curious about. Don't cry, Hark. You're going to make me cry. I'm sorry, Mike. It's kind of hard to not. I'm a little bit too open of a person to hold back tears like that. Okay, so here's why I didn't think Roiland was the traitor. When Angel made a choice in the previous game, Roiland killed Blood Whitehill, and then Whitehill men killed Roiland along with everyone else, but I guess it was just a non-canon section because it results in game over. True. Liam J. Davis, Davies, when episode 6 comes out and you finish it, do you think you could do an alternate playthrough where you play as Roderick? Um, honestly, probably won't be able to because there's just so many games that I want to play and let's play that I, I, I want to spend the time playing another game, a new game. As much as I would love to replay, I probably will replay it eventually, but I probably won't record it because it just goes a lot faster. Um, so I, I typically, but, but, but thank you for the question, Liam. That image of Ramsey is going to my nerves. Can I, can I change the image? Can I change it to, to, to really, oh. Let's, 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 oh, Roderick, oh, Tyrion, let's, 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 let's put it on Roderick, a, ha a, a, a happier version, version of a picture of Roderick there. Um, I've never cried in a game, but even close to this scene, um, brought me to the closest thing, Hark's Heart, <laughs> questions, question mark to 2015, have you tried the Walking Dead season one finale? Oh yeah, oh yeah, not gonna give any spoilers about that. 
Um, this is a pretty ballsy of Telltale. Essentially now they're going to have to make two different final episodes. I'm sure there will be some similar parts, but the two characters are so different in how they would lead, there has to be some massive differences. I hope so. I hope so. And more power to them for making a sixth episode. The first game, that got me there. I don't know for sure, but I feel like I would do the same. I normally cry at happy moments in games, not usually sad moments. I love happy endings. It's Asher's beard. Time for Lud's daughter. Always forget the blonde's name, though. Roderick is secretly the sexy evil maester. If Elena is pregnant, the child could never rule the house because it would... Yeah, that's true. They were not married, so when the child would have a really hard time in life, and no one would marry El Elena if she is after his birth. Griff gets the satisfaction of seeing Roderick die. That, that does stink. If they could continue with the illusion of choice, I'll assume you save who you say will eventually die to. Don't say that! Don't say that! With a determined protagonist, Episode 6 might have some replayability. Telltale better break that, that track record. I really hope that they can make the past choices more impactful. I very much want to see you react to that. I was thinking Roderick with Sir Laurel and Sentinel or Asher with Duncan. I don't think Asher will be a good lord. He is a great fighter for sure, but Roderick was both a lord and a fighter. I want to see through this. Mira could have died too. Watch this if you want to see how she could have died. Oh. Okay, I'll take a look at that. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? Oh, One wow, I could have died here. Girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. You were oh. frequent spoken to, girl. <laughs> Good thing I didn't remain silent for it that. I knew be better easy. than to remain silent. Or at least it shouldn't have been. I knew better than to remain silent. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. Clearly this is a waste of my time. Kill her. <gasps> Wow, and I think it's just game over. Wow! Voila, Morgulis. Yeah, I figured that was a game over. Game over. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so that that was a thing that happened. Oh, boy. Asher could end up marrying the White-Hilled Daughter for peace. Just a thought. Uh, Mira, too. Well, this just gets better and better. Um... If the North Grove was some kind of metaphor or something, and somehow a gate to the afterlife, oh gosh, that would be pretty morbid. But I don't know how much fantasy God has when it comes, how much fantasy Game of Thrones has when it comes to that. If you watch Asher's death in this video, you can hear Beska speaking when you hover over the choice. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to go ahead and, and react to um, Asher's death now, too. One of us has to stay! Uh... Not this again. The telltale slow motion. You know a big choice is coming up when everything happens in slow motion. Asha! Come on! Don't you dare leave me, Asha! Uh. Keep all this way for you! You can't fucking die now! We need you! Go, Roderick, I know what I'm doing! Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. Oh my god. Go! You bastard! Beska. You're fucking leaving me? What the fuck am I supposed to do? I oh, this is heartbreaking. Her. We're supposed to fight together. Oh, this is heartbreaking. Die together. Sister, you're my family. As much as Roderick, as much as any of them. Oh. Rip their fucking hearts out! Asher's doing a little bit better than Roderick did. Oh, that hurts to watch. Oh gosh, it's still not enough. He's doing better, but it's still not enough. Oh, 
Oh gosh, really? I can't even imagine what it would be like watching both of them go down. Oh my gosh. That part with Beska though, oh my gosh, that was beautiful. Pull on your heartstrings even more, why don't you tell tale? They know how to spin a good story. Uh, I forgot about Gwyn and Asher. I bet Beska's going to get jealous next episode. Yeah, that's true. And that'll probably be a choice if you brought Asher along, like if he's going to choose Beska or, or, or Gwyn. But I feel like Beska, he called her sister. I think he sees Beska more of a sister than as a love interest. Excuse me, love interest. Well, they have a girl who can shoot, well, they have a girl who shoots magic fireballs. So they can kind of go all the way with magic. The mirrors would just take you to the game over screen. Same with third option. It's time for me to leave now. It's 12, 12, 22 a.m. Canaris, thank you for staying as long as you did. You need to walk, catch some sleep. It worked. I, I worked for 8.5 hours today. I'm in totally beat. Thanks for the epic stream, Hark. I hope you'll be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> I hope so, too. Thank you, Canaris. I've never seen the third option, but I hate it already with my soul. See you around, people. Next time will probably be Borderlands. Ramsey has been shirtless quite a lot on the show, so... Oh, oh, I see. Well, <laughs> apparently that doesn't work that way. In the, in the TV show. I really hope Asher and Beska hook up. I still think she's gay, though. She could be. If people start dying Game of Thrones because they're shirtless, there'll be 0.3 characters left by the end of the next year. That's true. Maybe that's more of a video game thing. Well, she says she spends money on hookers, but not sure how that goes. You have to play Dreamfall Chapters. Uh, it's in my list. Somebody actually bought it for me, so hopefully I'll be able to get around to playing it. She might have been joking, but if Asher dies, she might do it and drown her sorrows. Oh, happy version of Ro a happier version of Roderick with blood on his sword after he killed the traitor. 